What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? Thank you so much for tuning in. It's me, Mikey Pipes. We're heading on to our next service call in Valley Stream. We have an existing client that the house is burning up. Not literally like on flames, but the heat is run away. There's no way to turn it off. Um, and they're calling for immediate service because it's blazing hot. It's like 90 degrees of the thermostat. Let's go see what's going on. Hi. Come on then. Thank you. How are you? Good, thanks. House is very hot? Yes. Where? So we turn Whole up, house? Upstairs. Just upstairs? Just upstairs. Just upstairs. The, okay. the unit upstairs. We have what, two you turn, rooms. You turn the switch off? Yeah. Completely. Let's see the thermostat first. No, the thermostat. We turn the thermostat off. You turn the thermostat off? Yeah. And Sorry, it's the, the yeah. <laughs> but you turn the, the thermostat the, off and then yeah, turn it the off? The boards are still warm. So what, then what did you do? Nothing. So it's still hot up there. Yeah. Can I see the thermostat? Absolutely. Let me just get my dog. Yeah. <laughs> Let me know if it comes to <laughs> It's not him. It's him, probably. Yeah, she's... She's a nurse. They, they don't like the loud. It's okay. It's okay. Come here. Wait, right here? So you have it all. Uh, and the hot. That's it. Hey, hey, hey. Did you turn it? Did you turn anything else off? Right now, it's just off. Oh, it's holding it. It's cold? It's cold in here, huh? No. It's 67. It's 67. Is it hot in there? Yes, it is. Uh, yeah, this one. It doesn't look like it. But all night long, it's hot. Yeah, it's, it's still warm. Yeah, let me see. It's still warm. Okay. Uh, not really. Okay. You want that down here? Down here. No, it's... And during the night, it goes up and down, up and down. And every single storm goes. Okay. When did this problem start? Uh, two days ago. How old is the thermostat? Four, Four years. years. Oh, so this has been here for a while. Yeah. Alright. Okay, so go, 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 go. Heat. What was it reading on the thermostat? Uh, so it was turned off, but the reading was 71. It was reading 71 and it was off? Yeah. yeah. So this is, for we're talking about, yeah, 67 with everything being off overnight until now uh, with windows open. Okay, let me see the boiler. And you have a thermostat for downstairs too? Yeah. What was, it reading, is, what was it reading downstairs? Uh, well, we see, this thermostat is completely off. Well, like, we don't have enough no, okay. to deal with it anymore. Because unless it's completely And the boiler is down here? Yep. Keep going. This door? Light switch, yes. Oh, you have. There's two zones on right now. And you have a radiant zone. That's on. These are. Oh, that's hot. So this zone is on. That's hot. So the zone is on. Where's your radiant heat at? Uh, kitchen? Kitchen, but it stopped working. It stopped working. Yeah. It's on right now. Oh. Well, no, it's not on. It's 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 running, but it's not doing anything. Lovely. Turn that thermostat off, please. It's off. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so the kitchen thermostat is on. Set for 70. Uh-huh. 
and it's reading 60. Yeah, but, but what? And the floor is cold. Yeah, because something else is wrong. Right. So let's just lower it all the way down. The click occurred, and let's go see what it does at the boiler. All right, so now that the kitchen thermostat is off, the second floor thermostat is also. And it's still going. No, now it's off. But now it's off. So the, the issue that what I what I verified is that the kitchen thermostat was triggering was on and was telling the entire second floor, which includes the kitchen radiant, right. to operate. Now the kitchen radiant is not heating for we, we'll figure that out why next, but we have to figure out why the kitchen told the second floor zone to turn on. You know the the, the other thermostat. Right. So it's essentially the boiler thought that the hall, the first thermostat that you showed me, the one in the second floor hallway, was on, but it's not. Right. Right. That's what the boiler thinks. How is it? I don't know. We're gonna figure that out. All right. So I remove the switching relay cover. This is our end switch. When a zone turns on from the thermostat, thermostat sends signal to the relay, which then gives the circulator zone power same time it closes the end switch which tells the boiler to turn on essentially you know pretend this is a thermostat um thermostat turns on the boiler fires up zone one zone two zone three all independent we'll have to see what's going on up there next and zone one circulator zone two circulator zone three circulator and in um, 124 volts coming in this is our step down 110 to 24 volt transformer. This is an older panel. Newer ones have a C terminal across each zone relay. So we know that when the kitchen thermostat was on, both zone two and zone three was illuminated. There's a lot going on up here, I'll tell you. Three wires, which are these three, which are these three, which are then these three here. This is going nowhere. This is going nowhere. So here's one of those nowhere wires. Here is. here process of elimination interesting kitchen zone three that's the zone doesn't appear to be pulling anything was it not on all the way and I thought two and three were on before Hmm. Or, hmm. I think we have a bad flow check. If we address the radiant issue by purging, because there's definitely air in there, she's not circulating. We're gonna purge. And then we'll address that takeo. Well, maybe I should address that first. Hmm. Let's turn off the kitchen thermostat. Let's turn on back on the hallway thermostat and see what zone the hallway thermostat is. Question. So you said a few weeks ago you had the burst pipe in the wall. It wasn't burst, but what happened was expensive. It was kind of you know, well, uh, sitting on the metal like, thing, so it kind of... It was vibrating. Yeah. And then so the it, pipe didn't burst. There was no cut or crack in the pipe, nothing. It, 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 so he had to take that piece and replace it. So the pipe was damaged? Yes. And when did the radio in the kitchen stop working? Honestly, I don't know. We don't use it. Okay. Understood. Back off. <laughs> All right. So that main zone, zone one, is now on. hot as can be and that's off 
I really love our 007s and the 0015Es, the ECM, high efficiency circulators, because it gives you that light and tells you what's going on with it, you know? So when it flashes white, you know, you got air. When it's green, it's an eco mode. It's been on for many hours. And when it's blazing hot, you know, it's on. This one is running. This one's blazing hot, but it's not yet. It's air bound. We have to purchase out and give them some heat in the radiant, even though they don't use it in the kitchen. All right, I was going to purge by closing this valve. And opening this, our boiler feed is after this inch and a quarter shutoff valve. So any water I add to here, if I close, can I even purge this out? No, I can't. So if I close this, I want to purge through here, right? If I close this, water comes in, it's going to go to this zone unless I close that, go to this zone unless I close that. If I come around to my supply side of the hot water going into my mixing valve, right, we can go in through here, through the zone. I close this, water will come back through here and back through the boiler. Yep, that's what we're going to do. Let's turn the power off. Let's get our hose to purge. Let's get that on there. Okay, our pressure reducing valve is right there. We'll fast fill that. Let's get the hose in there so it doesn't go over the place. So I'm going to close this valve. I'm going to give myself some more pressure. Let's bump up this pressure a little bit. Yeah, right around 25. Let's go up a little bit more. <sighs> Come on, baby. <sighs> I hate those valves. All right, this is closed, so it's not going to go through the mixing valve. It's going to go straight up, perch to the zone, and back around. Here, through the boiler, and out. Okay, let's do this. pressure so now cold water is going through those zones i should probably close this and that one so now we're forcing water through our radiant zone that stopped oh, looks like we have a pressure reducing valve problem here now Jesus Christ. All right, the bottom of this was not on. So it gave us the illusion of zones two and three on. Now that that's on, it's in place. Purged out the zone. This is nice and hot. These are cold because they're off right now, but they were getting hot before. And we had a bad IFC inside the circulator. Easy peasy. All right, ladies and gentlemen, just finished up that service call. Um, Try to keep it as simple as possible. Explain to the homeowner what's going on, how to correct it, and how to prevent it from moving forward. Uh, it's kind of hard to prevent a bad check valve. It's kind of hard, sorry. It's kind of hard to prevent uh, an IFC on a circulator uh, from going bad, but um, it is what it is. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hope you enjoyed the little video. Catch you in the next one. Be well, God bless, stay safe.